Alright guys, welcome back to Robocop 12, <gasps> Leader of the Cops. So, we're at the Cathedral Rooftop again. Find Bannon on the rooftop and save him. Uh, you wanna- you wanna go fight Katava again? Yeah, yeah, let's go do that. You there! Exile! I am in need of your services once more! Help me! Where is he? <laughs> right over here. I, I actually can't see him. He's like hunkered down in the corner. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. I told you. He's, he's hunkered down in the corner. Alright, hi, Bannon. Phew. I would thank God for you, my friend, if that weren't too on the nose. I felt for sure that this time it was my turn to depart our world. Kitava's cultists surrounded Lani and I a while back. We split up and I led a distraction so she could make best her escape. Funny, I really should have considered my own plan for evasion once I'd allowed her hers. In any case, it is good to see you again, Exile. Let us talk more in a safer space. I shall meet you back at the docks. Alright, let's go back to the docks just because I want to talk to him. Alright. Banner is alive and well, I know small... Wait, thanks to you, I would be willing to guess. Without him being here, I, I would have lost sanity for my life a long time ago. I took this gift as a depreciation, token of appreciation. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm not really crazy about any of these, to be honest. But I guess we can take the quartz flask. It's like phasing. I, I don't care about any of this. No, fuck it, let's just roll a fucking hybrid. I don't care. All right, let's talk to Bannon. Ah, good to see you made it back. You look at me with suspicious eyes. Yes. I know you have your apprehensions about me, and my new indwelling spirit. But if it helps a little, I feel innocence stirring inside me, awakening with an odd sense of gratitude towards you. It was, after all, your bite that returned him to humility, allowed the scales to drop from his eyes. If you are to go wandering the city in its current state, be careful where you step. Kitava's cultists are constantly on the prowl, actively seeking food for their god. What's worse, the passage to Kitava's feast is blocked off by two large black gates. We call them Kitava's horns, and they are utterly impenetrable to the motions of man. There is but one way in which we can reach Kitava and deprive him of his eternal meal. The Staff of Avarius lies somewhere amongst the rubble of the Chamber of Innocence, still billowing with holy power. If you were to find it and return it to me, I believe the power in the Staff will act as power enough to break through the Horned Gates. Now that the Brian King is nothing but crab meat, his sunken domain, the ancient city of Sawatha, is ripe for the plundering. My granddaddy once dedicated a good portion of his sailing life trying to hunt down the location of that monolithic city. Then, while he were otherwise indisposed, years truly tried to follow in his gnarled footsteps, track down the teardrop, a pearl as big as your head, carved with the clues to the city's subaquatic location. I was this close to completing my grandfather's legacy when those damn Templar privateers raided my ship and took off with the teardrop, threw it in their reliquary here in Theopolis. As it were, now's the perfect time to retrieve that dazzling pearl. Think you can nab it for me? I'll make it worth your while. Maybe tick it off the list of things you owe me. Was a time when the ladies would be begging for a bit of old whalem. But I ain't felt the warm caress of a woman in a long time, and it wounded me dreadful. During my time on the sea, I heard tale of Queen Etzeri, and her penchant for using this land as a kind of vault for all her special shinies. One such shiny be her famed love potion, supposed to attract the drinker's ideal mate to their loins, even if that mate be far across the sea. Old Queen Etzeri kept the liquid in the skull of her favorite lover. Them damn Templars probably got their hands on it by now, and the potion's bizarre container has me thinking. They probably went and tossed it into the ossuary along with the rest of the bones they got lying around. Exile. 
Be you the friend I believe you to be, then find a potion for me, so that I can experience true love once more. Okay. Uh, That's so a lot of talking. We gotta go get William laid, and I uh, still start to sin. Then it is as I feared. Kitava's strength has grown insurmountable in our absence, and his horns now deny us entry to his feeding trough. Evidently, the hungry god has grown picky about what crumbs now travel towards his burgeoning throat. It is this strength that concerns me. I have spoken with our friend Bannon over there, a willful vessel of my misguided brother. I knew eventually we would need to enlist my brother's services, though I had hoped we need not do so this soon. Yet, it seems that we have no other choice. We must invoke my dormant brother, slumbering within Bannon's frame. Kitava's horns are a thing of great corruption, which only innocence's purity can dispel. Before we proceed, I feel I must confide something in you. Bannon wishes me not to speak of it, as he is willing for the sacrifice. However, I feel you should know. Once we invoke innocence, once we dredge him up from his cocoon inside the soul of Bannon, the man shall cease to be. Only the god shall remain. Do you understand what I say, Exile? If we take this path, Bannon will die. Excruciatingly so. Burnt with purity from the inside out. As I said, Bannon is willing to commit his life to this cause. But perhaps you should say your farewells before we move past the point of no return. Well, apparently Bannon's dead. <laughs> All right, hey, let's he's go. dead? Yeah, he's going to die, yeah. Oh, I was about to say, he's literally right there. No, yeah, he's, but... he's going to die. Yeah, that, that much is probably true. Because innocence is within him. Hey, here we go oh, again. Yet another shopkeeper that's going to fucking die. I mean... <laughs> what is it about the shopkeepers? Fuck you, that's fine. Literally, literally, every single act. Nessa, Gruz, uh, uh, Clarissa. Well, of course it didn't die, but she about died. It's close enough. Utulu, before he got turned into that weird stone and whatever the fuck thing he became. And now Bannon, every, every single fucking vendor of every act is going to die. Well... Probably your fault. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, I got another level up. Uh, I guess we're gonna head towards elemental damage. I kinda wanna do that. Or I can get more life. Actually, I'm gonna get life now. We kinda need it. Kinda. I'm a little bit worried about, like, the end game here and getting one shot by literally everything, so. We're getting to the yeah, point that's where that's what I'm can. here for with the feeble. Okay. Enter. Hopefully. It. So we got a lot of things to do. Let's see how this place looks. Oh, it looks pretty actually normal. Ironically. Do you mean normal? Oh, the fucking map. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's no pools of red blood anywhere. Well, you know the map isn't gonna be on fire. Jesus. It should be. Maybe. I did have like my my shit was all blue for a second. All my all my Because you those. were Kim changed. Oh, oh, they actually added that now. Yep. So that way you can see that it's actually being uh, slow cooldowns down. going down slower. Yeah, temp temp change slows everything down, but it has the added effect of even buffs are slowed down. Everything is slowed down, which is kind of uh, a neat, quite little, interesting actually. Neat little touch. There, there's actually a couple situations where actually being temp changed is a good thing, which go fucking figure, right? I mean, it's not really that much of a negative side effect, except for, like, poison and bleed and stuff, which lasts longer on you. Well, and you also move slower, too, and negative buffs go away on you slower, and you stay frozen longer, and shit like that. I don't know, man. There's there's net gains, and then there's also, you know, downside. Right, it's really the... hard to inflict Tim Chains on yourself. Alright, to the Ravage Square. Oh my god, it looks completely the same. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I found Bigfoot. What? Bigfoot. What are you talking about? Look, look, a, a, a oh, giant well. fucking footprint. Well, it's not that big. And 
Yeah, I, I, as big as we are. What are you talking about? It's not that big. If I saw a footprint that size in real life, I'd shit myself and run. I mean, not necessarily in that order. I may wait till I get to a toilet first. But point being. Hey, you, you, you know what? You know what? It's it's a big foot, yes, but you know, it's a foot there for with a reason, as purpose, Pat. Does it though? No, not really. Okay. I, I guess he just walked away. I guess his ass is at the tower or something. His ass is at the tower. Then where's his feet at? I don't know. Are his feet with his ass? Maybe. Have you noticed how fast those projectiles are coming out of their backs now? What, what, my projectiles? Yeah. That's because they have both gems for it. It's ridiculous. I like it. Sort of. Alright, reliquary time. Gotta find a teardrop pad. Oh shit, we got a waypoint. So we were just here, but we didn't know these characters at the time, so they're like, like, bitch, go get us some stuff. And we're like, fine. I can't do this just yet. Oh, this actually clears like fucking crazy though. It's actually really nice. It, it is good. Except for these guys. Apparently I do nothing to these fuckers. Yeah, and I'm trying to like give you as much damage and lower the resist as much as possible. Vulnerable to elemental damage. As I said, I'm trying to give you as much damage as possible, but the Harbinger stuff is just getting really tanky. Well, we are in like literally the last act of the game, so I don't know. Do you think we'll be able to do the, the boss? Probably. We could probably do. Oh the boss. yeah. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. It'll just take a couple of deaths, but you know. A couple of deaths. I, you know what? I, I, I think we're better at video games than that, Mike. I think we can do it without dying. Oh, we're playing in sort of pseudo hardcore. All right, yeah. I guess we'll see. What's your slash death at, Pat, motherfucker? I died uh, three times. I tied four times. Exactly. I'm the loser here. Superior arc. You. It's just six percent though. So nothing <laughs> to write home to Aziri about. Uh, I like that th that leap slam of determination that I do. Oh, the spin. Yeah. The spin is like the best part of fucking leap slam. All right. I feel like we should have explored all the way at the top, but... I feel like there's a lot of places that we should have explored. Yeah. We'll go back. You know what I almost think we should do? What? I almost feel like we should do the labyrinth before we kill the final boss. I, I mean, I was on that train too. I don't know what level we, we are at, though. When we do um, if my, if my memory serves, Merciless Lab is level 66. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll definitely do it uh, uh, a few quests then. Because we'll I'm worried that the final boss is going to drop our resistances again, because we still haven't gotten that, like, Merciless penalty yet. Of course he's going to do that. Well, right, I mean, I didn't I didn't know when they were going to enact that shit, so that's why I'm kind of... Alright, we're going to get your grandpappy's tear... No, no, sorry, that's a fucking... Grandma's. Really, yeah, whatever, fuck it. Exile, you're a giant among men. You got no idea how long I have yearned to have this beauty once more in Mians. The teardrop is surprisingly still in pretty good condition. Not too typical of the baubles them Templars like to steal. We'll stick around a while longer, but once things settle down, my grandfather and I will be setting sail with Sir Arthur firm in our sights. All right. Well, I don't know when we're gonna want to do that that part of the game, but or sorry, the whatever it is, I'm going back to the reliquary and going back to the Ravage Square. All right, I'm right behind you. Okay. Oh, good. Complete these quests. I got an achievement for that. I guess that's like most of the side missions. Then now there's still one more side mission. All right. Maybe after we do uh, Grandpappy's thing, we'll, we could do fucking. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, Wilhelm Rillium or something. Whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know. Uh, uh, William Roth, is that what his name is? Or yeah, Wilhelm. Yeah, Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Uh, it was Will something, I remember that. Yeah, they, 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 they didn't want it to be too normal. <laughs> they didn't want it to be too normal. You can have that chromatic, I'll let you have that. Also because I'm too lazy. 
Okay, this, this guy's fucking hurt. Oh, they destroyed the bridge. What a bunch of dicks. I mean, are, are you really surprised at this point? I mean, maybe. So Katava likes to feast. So what, they like just bring him back corpses and shit and then they just like fucking eat that? I mean, w if, if, if you were a cannibal god, which would you rather eat? Living people or dead people? I would like to eat lettuce. What? I would eat lettuce as a cannibal god. It's always the correct answer, Pat. I mean, I guess so. I don't know, dude. That's fucking weird. Pat, I work for PETA. Come on. Oh, that's true. That's true. As far as you know. Alright. Oh, fuck, that hurts. <laughs> oh my god. Get me out of that. I keep leap slamming to the middle of them, doing like some fucking Neo Frostblade shit. Alright, Orsuary. Alright, let's have a look at that. Oh, the bone pits. Fuck yeah. Actually, what's... Oh, fucking hell, everything's bones over here. <laughs> Jesus, like, he's really been feasting. I guess you gotta put your bones somewhere. Although, if I were that big, I mean, couldn't he just like eat the bones? So... So why why is your fucking grandpa fucking trying to find some shit to like get laid in the fucking get bone his pit? ghost dick wet? I don't know, dude. Do, do why, bitches, why not? Do ghost bitches love fucking like bones shit? Like, I guess they would, wouldn't they? Well, no. I mean, it's a love potion that Queen Adziri made out of the skull of her fate that was like in the skull of her favorite lover or some shit. Yeah. On, yeah. Do, you, do you even lore? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. A moment of your time. I can't do this just yet. Alright, what's this one? Assassinate with Antenna? Alright, there he Mike, is. Mike, if you were a 10 foot tall, 4 titted, 6 armed. Right, you gotta help me out. Alright, uh, never mind, I got it. I got it. There we go, he's level 5 now. You know what? Uh, I'll just sum up what I was gonna say. If you had 4 tits, Mike, anything's possible. That is true. That is a lot of tits. I mean, there's a act, lot of tits. The Act 9 person only had two, I have to admit. Oh no, not Elemental Reflect. Sorry, Physical Reflect. I know, right? Dude, he can't hit us. Oh no, there he goes. I kind of did that as soon as I said it. <laughs> of course it is. Everybody hates you, including Bones. Oh. Do I have the speed attack speed? No, I don't have that yet. Cause that could go even faster. Even further beyond. I think we've made enough Dragon Ball Z jokes at this point. They're not even jokes; they're just life. It really is, though. And there's Pat on pickup duty. Hey, that's pretty much all I got going for me right now. Yep. All right, we found Grandpappy's Templar fucking allure thing. All right. Let's go get him some ghost bitches. You found it! Bless your boots, exile! Me lady problems will be over at last. Let's give it a go then. Hmm. Hmm. I feel nothing. Blast it all to the ocean depths! Ruined! Oh, damn ye, sitting around in that damned city. The love's magic fizzled right out of the damn thing. Oh, well, can't blame a man for trying. Anyway, here's a little something for your effort. Oh, that was for two respect points. Nice. Eh, it's okay. I forgot, how long have I been going on for right now? A decent amount of time, I think. Uh... Trying to think. Uh, maybe do you want to? Uh, maybe maybe we'll get the next waypoint and then we'll do labyrinth then. I mean that's what we'll do. If you're up for that. Yeah, that's not, that sounds good. I want to see the new Templar courts. Ah, uh, fuck it. We'll just go. Gotta see the new Templar courts. Gotta go to the Ravage Square. Yeah. Find a way to destroy Katava's horns. Oh, he's got horns here. Uh, he's got horns everywhere, Mike. 
that make him fortified? Uh, maybe? I wasn't gonna go with the obvious one. Fuck, where is it fucking? Oh, it's down this way. You know, it seems really easy to block us off from it, from from passing any further. I wonder yeah, why he just, doesn't just put up some fucking burning corpses. Yeah, exactly. And we can't we can't pass. Dude, look at that guy's hands. They're fucking big. And now he's dead. I know what he does in his spare time. <laughs> lifts things. He builds boats. No, he's, he's he lifts weights, man. No, yeah, no, he builds boats. That's the only thing I can imagine you would do with hands that big. The only thing, huh? Yeah, well, well, that or masturbate. Yeah, uh, I mean, I I was gonna say that was the obvious one. All right, the torch quartz. And the waypoint here is broken. It is so broken. Just... All right, well, what's it say? Yeah, we still have a ways to go, so might as well go look all the way through. What in damnation have you done, Pat? What in damnation have you done? I think there's like a dead guy over here. Oh, fuck. It's like on the fucking pillar there. Oh gee, yeah, dude, you got stabbed a lot. The fuck awesome. was his crime? I don't know if I feel very good about this kind of justice. Well, maybe he's the one that we can blame for that smell. And, and now the torch courts are like even bloodier. Well, at least they're not on fire anymore. Ah, right, yeah, I guess that's that, I guess that's good. Going positive. Are you going pat positive? Dark side pat. Uh, got got gotta be uh, VG positive. VG positive. I'm still playing the same uh, the, the music from Act Five again. For the hey, but it's still area. good music. Oh, then no, I, I have no doubt about that. I just don't know if that it feels appropriate anymore to it though. And we're not re. Because <laughs> it's all literally burned out. Holy shit! Fucking just pile of corpses. Yeah, these guys here. just charge at you, man. And I was saying there's like a pile of corpses uh, over here, above the uh, thing over here. Oh. Oh, did you see this guy that's like skinned and shit? Which guy is skinned? The one, oh, the yeah. one like nailed to that thing. Yeah, what the fuck did he do? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, apparently he wasn't on board with the cannibalize. They didn't even, it doesn't even look like they tried to eat him. They just like, dude, you're a dick. And then just like ripped his skin off and tied him up. Yeah, they have a lot of corpses here. This reminds me of Pidey's fucking place now. Fuck. Well, I mean, it, it's come home to roost, I suppose. I guess so. So now, now, now I even can't tell the difference between, like, the corpses we're adding and the corpses that they have. You know what, that's probably for the best. Oh, look, now they have just a pile of corpses. See, they killed people and then they just organized it in, in a fashion. Oh my god, they're, like, it. all burnt and shit, too. Yeah. They did, they did shit there. It smells good in here, though. It's quite the party with Katava. It smells good in here. You want some barbecue, Mike? I, I would love barbecue. As I learned in the Navy, like, when somebody's cooking, it actually smells quite pleasant. Yeah, but this is this is probably not your typical cuisine, Pat. Yeah, that's true. No, I meant when someone's literally cooking. Don't think about it too hard. I'm really not going to. Nah, don't worry about it. There we go. We're at the desecrated chambers now. Oh yeah. Fuck. Well, well then. Looks like there's our waypoint. Well, I guess we're gonna leave it up here, guys. So next time we're gonna do. Um, uh, wait, do do we even have the last labyrinth thing? Uh. We I may don't know not. We, we we may not even be able to do it actually. One second. Fuck. Oh. Nice. No, we no, we, oh, it's in the ossuary. Oh shit! Okay, we're okay. Apparently, no, we're, it's not it, guys. We're fucking going back. Apparently, we missed that. Back to the past. Gonna take you back to the ass. Okay, well, let's just kind of hop in there then. Fuck. Oh, dude, we didn't even like we we actually didn't do this. Or, all right, split up a little bit. Wow, I can't believe we, I can't believe we were about to miss that. Fucking hell. Honestly, I, bl I blame humanity's faults. Humanity's faults? Yeah. Pat's super excited to do labyrinths, because guess what he gets? 
He gets I finally get my other ascendancy. Another ascendancy. Actually, I think it's up there because I see like a it, yeah, it there. is literally just right up here. Interesting. Oh, dude, the fucking bone S warrior. Oh wait, I, I recognize this layout though. You go get the other side. Okay. All right. Ow! 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 Well, just right. don't hit the pressure plates, and it won't hurt. Precisely where he stands. All right. Now we can do Merc Lab. So now we're done for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.